Hey everybody, welcome to part three. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to throw some text up on the screen and put some images up. Really, we're just gonna put one image up. Uh, so to get started, uh, let's go ahead and create a text object. So the thing is, is when you create text, it's really pretty much exactly the same as all the primitive shapes you've been doing. You've got a variable that you make and you've got a constructor that has some points in it put at the center here and text takes a second parameter which is what I want to write so in this case I'm going to say what's up you do the exact same thing just draw it to the window and then you're done so now you can run it and you notice that if you've copied my code exactly you have nothing up there so what went wrong well nothing went wrong it's doing exactly what you told it to do it's just that once again text just like all the primitive shapes defaults to being a black color so this case uh, we need to get rid of our uh, background just so we can see this and you'll notice now I have what's up you'll also notice that this point which is also called an anchor or where the text is going to be located at is actually the center of the text. So imagine the text has a rectangle around it. The very center of that rectangle is 250, 250. And if I were to extend this a bit, maybe give me three of them, you're going to see it's going to be right about here at the T or the apostrophes is where it's going to be centered. So bring it down, and that's about the center there. Let me back that up. Okay, so there's not really a way to fix that anchor. You're just gonna have to adjust things and it can make it difficult when you want text to line up maybe on the left or right in some way because the minute you add another letter, it's gonna throw everything off. So in this case, uh, I'm gonna get rid of this now. Bring this back rather, set background. Uh, in this case, we don't care how it's centered. We're just doing an example. So when I get this done, I want this text actually to show up. So before I draw it, I need to change the color. And you might be tempted to try to use outline or set fill, but really what you want is set text color. Set text color just fills it in with whatever color you have, and it's only going to have that. You're not going to have an outline and all the other stuff. So color RGB, let's go ahead and do 0, 255, 200 and run this and now I've got this nice kind of greenish blue here okay, so that's good there's a a couple of things we can do with this uh, which is we can make it bigger so set size maybe 30 run this and I've got a nice big shape here uh, we can also change the face and face is just another way of saying the font that we're using so for example if I use courier I can do this, I, I can use Helvetica, okay, and I can just use, of course, the default. I'm going to stick with Courier, I'm going to have this like that, and there we go. So that's really about all you can do with text, is just change the color, the size, and what font you're using, and you're limited as far as what fonts you can use, there's only four of them, if you look at the the graphics documentation, you'll see that it lists the fonts that you can use. So that's text and not too difficult. It's just going to be kind of a pain if you want to line things up in a certain way because of the anchor point here. So it's going to always be centered right in the middle. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that window and draw an image now. So in my folder here, I have an Apple GIF file, or if you want to say GIF, that's fine. I don't, whatever your pronunciation is. Uh, so this Apple GIF file uh, is going to be, I have a transparent background, meaning I have an Apple centered, and then the background is transparent. So if you don't know what it means by being transparent, then take a look at maybe Photoshop or look around for like Artweaver or some free tools online and then look up how to make parts of an image transparent. Essentially what it means is that the background of the image is gone and it lets whatever is below that part come through. 
All right, so as you can see, making an image is pretty much exactly the same as text, just image instead of text. And the anchor point is also centered. So when I draw my image uh, here, I get the apple centered in the middle of the screen. So this here is going to be transparent. So the background is transparent. Uh, no matter what color I put in the background, you won't actually see anything around the apple. So this is really important when you're making a game is you want all of your what they call sprites or all your images. The background of those images should be transparent because you don't want blocky squares of things running around with the image inside that square. So you got to make the background transparent. So I'm not going to go through how to make something transparent in this tutorial, but if you take a look around online, uh, download some images, try to load them in here. You can really only load GIF files. I've tried some other stuff. It doesn't work. As you noticed, I had a PNG file in there, and if you try to run it, it just crashes. So GIF works, and I think one other format works, but it's not a very well-known format, so just stick with uh, GIF files and you'll be just fine. Okay, so that's how you draw images to the screen and how you put text on. All right, so thanks for watching, and as always, if you have questions, just leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. All right, uh, see you soon.